let's continue talking about black Muslim figures in history. This Muslim's name is Ubeda bin Tasamit. He was born in Yathrib and came from the tribe of Khazaraj. He was described as being very tall and very dark. He became one of the first 12 Muslims to accept Islam among the people of Medina. And he took the pledge with the Prophet ﷺ on the second night of Aqaba before the Prophet ﷺ and the Muslims in Mecca migrated. He participated with the Prophet ﷺ in all his major campaigns like Badr, Uhud, and Kandaj. He was also one of the scribes who wrote down the Quran. During the government of Omar bin al-Khattab, when Egypt was conquered, Ubaidah led a delegation to visit the Coptic leader al maqwikis meaning the Caucasian. So Ubaidah experienced anti-blackness by this leader. He was a Greek priest who ruled over Egypt on behalf of the Roman Empire. So when Ubeda was brought forth to speak on behalf of the delegation, I'll, I'm not going to pronounce his name, this leader interjected and said, get this black man away from me and bring me someone else who can speak to me. Muslims with Ubeda said that this black man is better than us in insight and knowledge. He is our leader, he is the best of us, and he has been appointed over us. He, we refer to his speech and his opinion. He is the um, commander. And when he command us, we do not differ from his insight. And the same leader was basically like, how can you be pleased that a black man is better than you? Um, and rather he should be least amongst you. And again, the Muslim said, of course not. Even though he is a black man, just like you see, he is the best amongst us in status. He is the foremost among us in intellect and insight, and blackness is not despicable to us. And then the leader tells Ubeda, approach me, O black man, but speak to me gently, for surely I am alarmed by your blackness. If you speak harshly, I will be more alarmed by you.